going on guys? Welcome to another rod review and today we are going to be talking about the Shimano SLX spinning rod. So first of all looking at the blank we have a 24 ton graphite blank and this rod comes with uh, titanium oxide guides and an EVA, EVA grip. It has a, a Shimano reel seat and a little bit of carbon here on the Shimano seat for the adjuster. So what I have been using this rod guys basically is for all, all my freshwater fishing and over here we can see an assortment of lures that I normally would use in a session. So starting off we have the, the light, uh, the, the spoons on this side we have uh, 8 gram spoons, 3.5 gram spoons, really small ones. Uh, we have uh, 14, uh, 14, 14 grams, which is half ounce, and then we have 20 grams, which is three quarter ounce. And then I have uh, eight, eight gram Rapala here, X-Rap. I have a Yuzuri Minol. Uh, I believe this is around 15 to 16 grams. And we have another uh, Rapala X-Rap, which is uh, also around 17 grams. My main concern when I bought this rod, uh, now it is rated to uh, 1 4 to 3 4 ounce, uh, but generally rods have sweet spots, you know, it, it may not throw uh, a lure that is at the very lightest end of the spectrum and it may, uh, may not throw a lure that is at the heaviest end of the spectrum too well. Generally the sweet spot is somewhere in the middle. So, my goal with this rod was to see if it can handle all these lures that I generally throw. So let's just quickly have a look at uh, the casting test I did. I didn't get a chance to throw all these lures. I threw most of them and I uh, start off with this little tiny 3.5 gram lure which is well under the rating of this rod. So technically this rod should not be able to throw this spoon too great because it's, I mean, it's not heavy even enough to load up the plank. So let's just have a quick look at the casting test and see how it goes. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the ultralight lure, 3.5 grams, Castmaster. This is well below the uh, rating of the rod. The lowest rating on this rod is a quarter ounce. So let's see how the SLX handles the little guy. Oh, not bad. Went a fair, fair distance out there. <laughs> not bad at all. Yeah, it's definitely casting it out there. Not too bad at all. Okay, much better. Oh yeah, that went out there. Oh jeez, that's a great distance. Great distance. Easily 60 meters, 65 meters and I, I didn't even cast too hard. I was just a flick. The sensitivity of the rod is also pretty good like I can see feel the I mean this is a fairly small spoon but I can still feel the action to my uh, you know through the through the rod the action of the spoon that's pretty awesome
I switched to a heavier lure guys this is a 20 gram you see some top board action all the way out there so I need a little bit of weight to reach them so decided to switch it up to the bigger spoon oh yeah Now having uh, used this rod a couple of times, I was actually quite surprised by the performance. Uh, starting off with throwing this little tiny spoon, uh, I was really surprised at how much distance I could get throwing this little spoon even though this spoon was way under the weight rating of uh, this rod. I mean this rod is rated to a minimum of one fourth ounce and this is half of a fourth ounce. So it's pretty tiny and uh, I still managed to get pretty good distance uh, on this rod on this small spoon and then as I moved on to the heavier spoons the 8 grams and the 14 grams and the 20 the distances just, just kept getting better and better so this rod being a fast action rod absolutely had no problem throwing these metals uh, and that's kind of to be expected with fast, uh, fast action rods also but I was I was surprised. I was surprised at how well it threw, you know, the lighter stuff, and I was I was pleasantly surprised. I would say. <laughs> uh, but moving on to the the hard baits, um, I found that it didn't throw uh, the Yuzuri too well. Um, this is mostly, I think, because of the fact that this is not a rear weighted lure in the sense it does not it does have a rattle, but it does not have a weight transfer system. Whereas uh, the Rapalas, it, it has a solid weight transfer system. So the, the rod was able to really cast the, the 8 gram uh, lure out pretty far. And even the larger Rapala, the 17 gram lure, very far. Uh, but it had trouble casting, uh, you know, the Yuzuri because with the fast action rods, uh, basically, uh, because the recovery of the, the tip is so fast, it tends to it tends to uh, wobble wobble the lure as it goes through the air so i was i found that i was having a little bit of a trouble little bit of trouble throwing the yuzuri but the rest of the hard baits it did quite well also guys uh, another thing worth mentioning uh, is that this rod is extremely sensitive i mean for the price of this rod i mean i have a lot of expensive rods and i know how sensitive a rod can get and in comparison for the price of this rod, this uh, graphite blank is extremely sensitive. It's very good. So just having a closer look at this rod, uh, being a graphite blank, uh, it is quite uh, durable. Uh, in general, graphite is a durable material, and this is a 24 ton uh, graphite uh, blank. So the durability is pretty good. I did happen to uh, try and deadlift one and a half kilos on this rod just to see how the blank reacts how it bends how it absorbs uh, the load <clears throat> and uh, it managed to lift uh, one and a half kilos off without any problem and uh, i would say the only thing that concerns me and this goes with any freshwater rod is the fact that this has single foot guides and generally single foot guides are not as durable because they can tend to get knocked about while transporting and these guys can get bent. Now one thing that I found uh, a little strange in this rod is the reel seat. Now this is not this is a Shimano reel seat and this is a very small reel seat guys. I mean over here I have uh, a thousand size reel. This is a Shimano Sahara thousand and even to fit this ultralight reel on this uh, reel seat you have to really open up this uh, the adjuster over here and there you go see as you can see it's it's almost out of thread there and even then when you are tightening this uh, adjuster because this has a smooth carbon finish, it's a little hard to get a proper grip on this adjuster. 
um, unlike other real seats which usually have some sort of a contoured finish this is quite slippery I mean my hands are dry right now and I'm having trouble gripping this so if you're out on the water and your hands are wet or you know you have fish slime or bait on, on it or something like that you will have a hard time with this adjuster um, and it, it needs to be tightened down quite a bit uh, for the reel to sit in there securely so I've also found that once I tighten this down a lot it's kind of hard to get it off because it's so slippery so you've got to kind of use a rag or something like that you know for the added grip and then undo the uh, adjuster here All right. so just to finish off guys uh, I feel that for $99 really you can't go wrong with this rod it's strong it's durable it has a good finish it has quality components for for what you're paying uh, it's a very comfortable rod it's super lightweight uh, I mean you can fish with this all day uh, every day you cast for hours and hours you pair this up with a lightweight reel you know you have a very lightweight setup um, so yeah really for the price that you're paying for this uh, rod Honestly, you can't go wrong. It's a great rod. And I was really surprised that I could actually deadlift one and a half kilos off uh, the floor with this rod. I was half expecting it to snap, but you know, it, it, it loaded up the blank. You could feel the power all the way, all the way to the handle here, you know, uh, as you were lifting, as I was lifting the weight and it had no problem. I didn't, I didn't hear any creaks or cracks or anything like that. Uh, so that shows me that this this the backbone is quite strong the rod itself the blank itself is quite durable and it, it should be able to handle decently large fish so if you guys are considering this rod i would say go for it do not hesitate it's a nice looking rod it's lightweight uh, and it's not going to break your bank all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review don't forget to hit like and subscribe and catch us on the next one tight lines